Good morning. Um, if you don't understand my accent, please raise your hand and I'll try and repeat it. <laughs> anyway, um, what I'm here to talk about is not just innovation, but the fact that our R&D team and our industrial design team, the design studio, has been amalgamated in a recent move to the new facility at Oak Plaza. We've just managed to move uh, 500 people, I think, a day, which I think it was the most the company, they were called Core, and they were, I think, from Greensboro, have ever moved in one go. So we're now called the Advanced Design Group, and um, we have about 15 people, four or five uh, industrial designers, engineers, plastic specialists, a new composite guy, some FEA, which is finite element analysis. But behind that, we have about 250 trained engineers. A lot of them went to NC State, Virginia Tech. Um, this page here shows the process that we go through when we work with an airline, such as major airlines such as Qatar Airlines or United, which is Continental and United joined together. Um, Cathay Pacific, Japan Airlines, all these different airlines around the world. When we talk to them, we try and understand what makes them special, because at the end of the day, it's just a tube of aluminum in the sky with flying furniture in it. We make that. And uh, we have to work out, for instance, Air China, you would think they're all into bright red dragons and the wonderful fireworks and everything that represent their culture, but no, they want gray, a little bit more gray, and darker gray. and. Uh, it's, it's, it's really a, uh, it's quite a surprise when you go to a country and realize what you thought about them isn't correct. So and then we go through think, uh, the words called ideation, a company called IDEO from California. In fact, one of their leaders just passed away, a guy called Bill Mogridge. Um, they kind of invented the name ideation, which create creativity and ideas amalgamated. And what we try and do is we sketch, we work with the airline, we try and understand where they're coming from, and then we make a system of concept development. We use a variety of new technologies, sketching tablets. We will actually just sketch with them in front of them. And then we use uh, high-end computer gear to virtualize, make a three-dimensional animation or real-time animation. And we'll show them the whole thing. We'll go through a process of selecting that. And it can take like 24 months at, to actually get to a certified product. We've done stuff in 12 months. In the past, we done, did things in nine months. Nine months is a nightmare, all right? <laughs> We're not going to do nine months anymore. So, say we're talking to British Airways. There's a lot of stuff flying that's from British Airways that is ours. Um, their business class, a lot of their economy class, their first class, but that's made in another plant down in Miami and Tucson, out in uh, Arizona. Um, what we try and do is, if you see the design, I haven't got a pointer, but if you see the, the shapes, this is by a guy called Mark Purifoy, we're extracting a lot of the linear curves that are in modern design. And this is about four or five years old, so it's not as contemporary as it should be. We would then go back to them and say, these are the shapes that you're trying to explain as your brand language. And out of that, um, actually, I'm going to stay on that very quickly. We actually presented a bunch of products that represent the flying customer that they support. And we actually showed an Audi A5, I think it was. And at the time, one of the engineers that worked for British Airways turned around and said, no, 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 we're a Jaguar, we're British. And actually, the head of the airline said, no, no, he's got it completely right. They don't drive Jaguars anymore, they drive these Audis, because they're European and they like to perceive themselves as a certain way. And products such as cars are a real expression of your own internal self-judgment mechanism. So what they try to do is, this is the product you want to see yourself in, okay? And in fact, you will find the most successful products, particularly Jonathan Ive, another Englishman that's out at Apple, those products are so simple. It's like, why hasn't anyone done that? There were so many MP3 players, but you could just switch it on, get a song, and play it. You know, it's got one button on it. You know, it's amazing design. So this is Sukhoi. Sadly, they crashed one not long ago in, in Indonesia. It was a complete mistake. But um, we did the interior, and the whole idea of it, this is a Russian aircraft, and it was great working with the Russians, because uh, most people don't aware, they never had computers. So in the 80s, uh, when America was leading the world in workstations, Hewlett Packard, Digital, um, Silicon Graphics, IBM, we had all these workstations, all Unix-based, supporting amazing computer uh, aided designs, such as Pro Engineer and Katia and all that stuff. Um, they didn't. 
But they invented the chaos theory before most of the people in the West knew about it, and they had better aerodynamics. And the Sukhoi Su-27 flanker is one of the most aerodynamic aircraft in the world. And in fact, at the Winston Air, Air, Winston-Salem Air Show, there are two, I think, aerobatic Sukhoi aircraft. They're just better than our airplanes because they're better aerodynamics. So I talked to Sukhoi, I said, well, what's your brand language, you know, just like British Airways, which is actually killing people. They actually make aircraft that shoot things and that's what they do. They make Sukhoi fighter planes, bombers, and jets. And this was a commercial aircraft, so we couldn't do that. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm trying to be humorous here. But, so, but the one thing is, I actually said to him, well, the biggest problem you've got is if you get on a Russian aircraft, you think you're going to die because it's rubbish. And they said, well, I suppose you're right about that, you know. And this is on his third vod vodka. You know, I got an idea about that. And I said, uh, what you need to do is kind of not confused, but try and get them to feel a bit of confidence. So this aircraft is, the top half is a bit of a 737, blended in with an A320. And um, it's got a softer undertones of like, there's a Bombardier product, which is a small aircraft, of the C series. We kind of melded it. The last thing I wanted them to do is get on and say, oh my goodness, I'm in a 70s Russian aircraft. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if you're Russian in here, but that's the perception, okay? Now, you may laugh, but the Embraer aircraft had exactly the same uh, uh, you know, brand language. And they've actually moved on, and now you can get on most Embraer Brazilian aircraft, and they're, they're seen as safe. So I think the Sukhoi aircraft, give it 10 years, very popular. So what we do, Continental lay flat, the EOS product, galleys, coffee makers, business jets. The new 737 lining, we did the lighting and the, some of the bin structure. Um, at the top left, Emirates, Japan Airlines, that was a development for Air Canada we didn't do. That was a South Korean thing we ended up not doing first class. That's United's first class product. That's a coffee maker. And on top right, interface design, how you actually make these things lay flat. So this is, a, this is actually a mock-up we actually built. So where do, have I got time to finish? Yeah, maybe. Oh, okay. Right, where do we go? So to get inspiration, we go to something like SIGGRAPH, or we'll go to uh, colleges, and we do uh, combined uh, teamwork. What they do here is it's the computer graphics industry, and they have chairs that like use uh, electricity to make your, your hair stand up. You've got a three-dimensional pen that you can actually sketch in three-dimensional space. There's a teddy bear that if you love it, it loves you back. That is freaky, all right? And then they, um, they've got this wonderful uh, eye control of asteroids, the game. You're actually just, you know, you can't look at anybody. If they ask you what you're doing, you just have to keep playing. But we don't need to actually touch things to control them. People hate touching things other people have touched. All right, so hygiene is massive in an aeroplane. Um, and then virtual reality, that was my background. I kind of did two or three years of PhD of this and never finished. But um, the whole idea, I think the virtual world, if you don't think it's going to be there, it's in your house. It's called an Xbox, all right? Um, this is an example of a recent project. We've got um, samples of VW and product design. We called it Wasabi because it's hot and it's new, all right? So, um, but we'll do sketches. This is a traditional three-dimensional sketch, but it's done on a digital Wacom tablet. And uh, the whole idea is, this is actually an intern. This isn't our actual uh, production work. It was somebody who came uh, to study with us over the summer, and he's gone back to uh, Kansas now. And we will actually go and make a prototype. So this is just like the other prototype. This is actually still in the workshop. And getting this thing to light up was a nightmare. All right, that, I can only tell you how difficult getting that plastic stuff to A, mold it and light it up. And we showed this at the Hamburg Air Show. It's not something we will build. We build it for reaction. And then we'll change that, we'll capture things, and then we'll go back to the market. And if you're seeing it being at the front end, and you're seeing us listening, and you're seeing us being open and understanding, I believe you have a much stronger position in the marketplace. Anyway, that's a good snapshot of what we do. Thank you very much.